them at the end they are very unique the eighths aren't that hard to learn as they are just smaller steps than the fourths if you have trouble with any of the eighths find the nearest fourth and add 0.125 if needed that is 1 eighth equals 0.125 2 eighths equals which is again 1 fourth which is 0.25 3 eighths equals 0.375 4 eighths which is half again which is again 0 0.5 5 eighths which equals 0 0.625 6 eighths which is again 3 fourths and it is 0 0.75 and 7 eighths which is 0 0.875 now, the nines are almost too easy to learn. One ninth equals point one 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 and so on. Two ninths equals point two 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 and so on. Three ninths similarly equals point three three and so on. Four ninths equals point four 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 and so on. Five ninths equals point five 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 and so on and 6 ninths equaling 0.66 and so on, 7 ninths equaling 0.77 and the 8 ninths which is 0.88 and the like. The tenths are very easy as well. Just put a decimal in front of the numerator which is 1 tenth equals 0.1, 2 tenths equals 0.2, 3 tenths equals 0.3, 4 tenths equals 0.4, 5 tenths equals 0.5, 6 tenths equals 0.6, 7 by 10 equals 0.7, 8 by 10 equaling 0.8 and 9 by 10 equaling 0.9. Isn't that easy? Remember how easy the 9's are. Similarly, the 11's are easy. Assuming you know your multiples of 9. For instance, 1 by 11 equals 0 0.09 and 0 0.09 and 0 0.09 and so on. 2 by 11 equals 0 0.18, 0 0.18, 0 0.18 and so on. 3 by 11 equaling 0 0.27, 27 and so on. 4 by 11 equaling 0.36. 0.36 and 36 alike 5 by 11 equaling 0.45 45 and 45 and 6 by 11 equaling 0.54 54 54 5, 4, and so on 7 by 11 equaling 0.63 63 and 8 by 11 equaling 0.72 72 and 9 by 11 equals 0 0.8181 81, 81, and 10 by 11 equals 0 0.9090 90, and 90 which is nothing but the multiples of 9. As long as you can remember the pattern for each fraction it is quite simple to work it out. The decimal place as far as you want and need to go. Oh. I almost forgot. We haven't done the seventh yet, right? Let's get back to the seventh. One seventh is an interesting number. One by seven equals a decimal. One four two eight five seven. One four two eight five seven and one four two eight five seven and so on. For now, just think of one seventh as decimal followed by 142857. See if you notice any pattern in the 7th. 1 by 7 equals 0.142857. 2 by 7 equals 0.285714. 3 by 7 equaling 0.428571. 4 by 7 equaling 0.571428 and so on. 5 by 7 
equaling 0.714285 and so on and 6 by 7 equaling 0.857142 and so on. Notice here that the 6 digits in the 7th always stays in the same order and the starting digit is the only thing that keeps changing. If you know your multiples of 14 up to 6, it isn't difficult to work out where to begin the decimal number. Now look at this. For 1 by 7, think 1 multiplied by 14 giving us 0.14 as the starting point. For 2 by 7, think 2 multiplied by 14 giving us 0.28 and for 3 by 7, think 3 multiplied by 14 giving us 0.42 as the starting point. For 4 by 14, 5 by 14 and 6 by 14, you will have to adjust upward by 1. For 4 by 7, think 4 multiplied by 14 plus 1 giving us 0.57 as the starting point. For 5 by 7, think 5 multiplied by 14 plus 1 giving us 0.71 as the starting point. For 6 by 7, think 6 multiplied by 14 plus 1 giving us 0.85 as the starting point. You practice these and you will have the decimal equivalents of everything from 1 by 2 to 10 by 11 at your fingertips. If you want to demonstrate this skill to other people and you know your multiplication tables up to the hundreds for each numbers from 1 to 9 then give them a calculator and ask for a two digit number or a three digit number if you are up to it to be divided by a one digit number. If they give you 96 divided by 7 for instance you can think hmm the closest multiple of 7 is 91 which is 13 multiplied by 7 with 5 left over. So the answer is 13 and 5 by 7 or 13.7142857. Isn't that good? Is it divisible by 4? This little math trick will show you whether a number is divisible by 4 or not. So, this is how it works. Let's look at 1234. Does 4 divide evenly into 1234? For 4 to divide into any number, we have to make sure that the last number is even. If it is an odd number, there is no way it will go in evenly. So, for example, 4 will not go evenly into 1233 or 1235. Now, we know that for 4 to divide evenly into any number, the number has to end with an even number. Let's get back to the question, does 4 divide into 1234? The solution is, take the last number and add it to 2 times the second last number. If 4 goes evenly into this number, then you know that 4 will go evenly into the whole number. So, 4 plus 2 into 3 equals 10. 4 goes into 10 2 times with a reminder of 2. So, it does not go in evenly. Therefore, 4 into 1234 does not go in completely. Let's try 4 into 343-6546 or 34,36,546. So, from our example, take the last number 6 and add it to 2 times the penultimate number 4. 6 plus 2 multiplied by 4 equals 14. 4 goes into 14 3 times with 2 reminder. 
so it doesn't go in evenly multiplying by 11 shortcut this technique teaches you how to multiply any number by 11 easily and quickly we will take a few examples and from these you will see the pattern used and also how easy they are to do so to begin let's try 12 time 11 first things first so you will ignore the 11 for the moment and concentrate on the 12 split the 12 apart like 1 and 2 add these two digits together 1 plus 2 equals 3 place the answer 3 in between the 12 to give 132 and therefore 11 multiplied by 12 equals 132 let's try another 48 multiplied by 11 again leave the 11 alone for a moment and work with 48 4 plus 8 equals 12 so now we have to put the 12 in between the 4 and 8 but don't do this 4128 is wrong first do this place the 2 from the 12 in between the 4 and 8 giving 428 now we need to input 1 from the 12 into our answer also and to do this just add the 1 from 12 to the 4 of 428 giving 528 okay now let's go to one more 74 multiplied by 11 that is 7 plus 4 equals 11 now the 7 put 1 from right of 11 in 7 and 4 then add 1 from the left of 11 to the 7 which is 74 multiplied by 11 equals 814 this is a really simple method and will save you so much time with your 11 times table converting kilometers to miles this is a useful method for when traveling between imperial and metric countries you need to know what kilometers to miles are the formula to convert kilometers to miles is the number of kilometers divided by 8 multiplied by 5 so let's try 80 kilometers into miles 80 by 8 equals 10 multiplied by 5 equals 50 miles now let's go to another example 40 kilometers is 40 by 8 which equals 5 and 5 multiplied by 5 equals 25 miles isn't that easy multiplication using all from 9 and the last from 10 there are many applications of the all from 9 sutra the first of which has to do with multiplying two numbers together suppose we have to multiply 8 by 9 we should take 10 as the base for the calculation which is the next power of 10 above the two numbers the two numbers 